Hi, I'm Pox. I'm Regable. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys Show. Yay! Formerly known as PSP Hacking 101. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, every week we bring you the latest and greatest technology hacks, modifications, voiding your warranty you with style, style, is what Couch Guy says. He's yes. Not, he's, not, he's not with us today. He's don't don't say that, you're going to jinx it. <laughs> but he's here in spirit. <laughs> oh, you're going <laughs> to... But he's not here with his PSP, so we're going to be demoing this new um, homebrew enabler. Exploit. Uh, on a broken PSP. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's an exploit that goes through the Patapon game demo, or actually the Patapon game period, which works with the game demo as well. It's a, another game save exploit, which apparently is about the easiest way to get exploits on the PSP. And the cool thing about this one is it works with all PSPs across the board, PSP 3000, 1000, 2000, and PSP, PSP Go. PSP, yo mama. So. <laughs> well, PSPs. No, the, the, the catch is is it's only for 6.2. So yes. if you upgraded in the past 6. few 3. months, or 6.3.5, you're, but um, if you got 6.2, you can't. And that's what we're going to show you every day. Yes. All right. All right. So here's how it's done. All right, so. So the things, the things that you will need, you will need to be on firmware 6.20. Yes. So do not download it from our show notes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, you will need the uh, Patapon game demo, which you can get from the PlayStation Store, or you can just you can download that online too, can't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you'll need the half byte loader. Okay. And this is the, the main homebrew loader. Okay, this is the, uh, what we're using to actually enable him. Right, right. Okay. And then you're also going to need the, um, the head, <laughs> the the T, the T N dash A. I just got that. <laughs> I wonder where you're going to get that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and throw all those into the respective folders on your uh, PSP's memory stick. In PSP game folder. First thing is the Patapon 2 demo. So I'll throw that in there. As well as the hen exploit. We'll throw that in there as well. And then any homebrew you want to use, such as uh, the N64 emulator, and I'm throwing in the Prometheus ISO loader. And if you have any ROMs, you want to put those in the ROMs folder inside of the homebrew. And then we're going to need to put in the game save, which is in the PSP save data folder for the half byte loader, as well as the other files that we're going to need for the half byte loader, which will go on the root of the memory stick. That's the h.bin and the folder hbl. And this is the half byte loader. So it's pretty simple. You just, on your PSP, run the Patapon 2 game demo. It'll ask if you need to create a new um, save file, and that's just for the system settings, don't worry. And then when you go to continue, it'll actually load the game save that we threw on the memory card. Now the game will run just like normal. Hit R, and it will execute the half byte loader. And from here, we can execute hen, which gives us kernel level access. Don't launch any of the homebrew from the half byte loader because um, it doesn't have kernel level. So a lot of the stuff won't work. All right, so I'm um, launched the ISO loader. Works great. <laughs> Works like a charm. And this stays in memory. Um, so as long as you don't do a hard power off or lose battery power, you don't have to go through the, all those steps of launching the Patapon demo. As you can see, the emulators work great. He updated his uh, Daedalus N64 emulator for this particular hen exploit. All right, so that's how you load the um, the Prometheus and the homebrew enabler. And pray that it works. And pray that it works. It, it you know it, it does work, but sometimes you have to try it a couple times. And it's still a work in progress, so hopefully they make it a bit more. I've noticed myself. Consistent. I've had more luck pulling the battery. <laughs> In between tries. And that there is an un unofficial fix for the later 3000 models due right, to the memory so difference. That might be the problem I'm having here with this one. Is, okay. Uh, so 
that you just replace uh, in the hen directory. There's a eboot. So we'll try that out. Should work better. Um, they're also, I mean, this just came out for Christmas, so it will be getting better. Yeah. And because the half byte loader works on the newer firmwares, I'm the six point three, sure that they'll update this as well. That's true. So. Um, the you know, it'd be interesting to see how it works in the PSP Go or how well it works on that. Yeah, if I can find one somewhere to hawk shop. Oh yeah, you'll be in uh, Vegas for CES. Yeah, maybe maybe Sony will be throwing them out to people. <laughs> They were doing that with bloggies at the oh, last thing I was really? at, and I, I entered a contest. I came close to winning oh. one, but I mean, I won the contest, but then they drew out of a hat on the winners, and I wasn't one of the people. Dang. <sighs> Anyways, um, thanks for watching the show. Yep. We are here every week at uh, twosmartguys.com. Every Monday, new shows. Wednesday, we do live tapings of whatever <laughs> the heck we're trying to hack. <laughs> Um, it's a it's a it's a grab bag what we do on Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, if you're seeing this soon enough, they're, I'm going to be live at CES, putting out a bunch of shows next week. So tune in for that. Uh, email me pox at twosmartguys.com with your suggestions of what I should go check out and air. Yeah, there's a lot. If you, there's something that you know of that is noteworthy, let us know. Yeah. Or Twitter. Um, I'm walking crow just to confuse people. On Twitter. <laughs> you could be Walking Crow Pox. I'm Walking Crow. Don't confuse them. <laughs> uh, Pox is Walking Crow. Oh, and uh, Pox is a little walking one last crow. thing. If you, if you haven't downloaded Boxy yet, or you don't have a box, get one or download it. Yes, we have an version. official app on there now. Yeah, we have an official app. So you search for Two Smart Guys and you can watch all the latest episodes, like the mm -hmm. past 20 of each category. Yeah, and you can even... I mean, you can see the latest shows and then... And glorious HD on your big screen. Yeah, you can go up and browse by each show. show. I still... That's what I needed to do. I needed to fix the refresh time. I'm sorry. Realize what I needed to do. See you guys next week. Bye. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.